Welcome back. Hey, what's up? Yo, it's your boy Brian B. I'm back with another episode of the B Line Baby. That's right. We here. We still doing it. I'm your boy Brian B, like I said before. And um, check it out. Season two. We're kicking it off. You feel me? We got a lot to talk about. You know, it's a lot of things going on. Like I said, you're gonna be seeing my face every week. Back to back, back to back. You're doing the Drake shit. Back to back. That was my shit, y'all. Going back to back. Yo, listen. It's a lot going on, man. It's a lot of different things, uh, you know, beginning of the years. Um, you know, schedules are kind of finicky. You know, I got a couple of guests that was lined up, but a couple of things fall through. But it's okay, because I'm still here. I'm going to talk, and we're going to talk, and we're going to have conversations about different things. But um, anyway, how you guys doing? You know, I thought somebody was going to be on the show with me today, so I'm just going to get on here and talk with my fans, talk with the followers. You know, we're doing pretty good over here at the B-Lines. It's still growing, and... um. I appreciate you guys all for that. But first, we're going to say thank you. Please hit that subscribe button. Like, share, tell all your friends, tell your family, tell people that you spent Christmas with, tell people that you don't even like, yo. Just go ahead and they'll follow the show and, you know, see what we're talking about every week here. You know, I'm crazy as hell and I'm loud. We got a couple of fun people coming up next, um, you know, couple episodes that are going to um, hopefully, like, you know, give you guys a little bit more of a difference than just me running my mouth, my mouth. I don't care. I love running my mouth. That's one of the best things that I love about this show. But um, got a couple of things I want kind of want to touch on today. It's gonna to be really like you know, uh, um, just like uh, some things that I got in my head that I've been thinking about. I got wrestling on over here. I'm watching wrestling. Yo, listen, yo, where the hell are all the fans at? Yo, WWE fans, y'all don't want to come on here and talk. Like yo, I really want to have an episode where we talk about old school, you know, wrestling and you know different things like that or whatever. Even like you know professional Olympic wrestling and things of that nature. Like um, it's fun, man. It's a lot of like you know interesting. Um, um, uh, things from the past, especially, I don't know about so much now, I'm still a fan, but, um, you know, I do want to get somebody on and have a, like a WWE kind of, you know, conversation about stuff, old timers and shit like that. But, um, yeah, we're going to see if that comes here. Oh, speaking of, uh, sports, damn, my tablet's talking to me. Yo, um, you know, uh, one of the things I want to talk about today, like kind of just get right into it. Like, yo, I want to talk about... Yo, what's going on, and how long is it going to be going on? What's up with the challenges shit, man? The challenges, yo. I, yo, listen. Ah, uh, you know, we're going to get into this topic. You know, it's definitely something that I, I don't know. I, I can't be alone. You feel me? Like, you know, every five minutes, um, you turn on your phone or whatever, your social media, and you got a different challenge. It's literally like... Anything is a damn challenge, you know? Let's, let's see. Let's try to take it back and remember, like, when the challenges first kicked off. Like, what was, like, the first challenge that you remember? Not, like, goofy stuff. Like, I remember, like, the cinnamon challenge. Then you had the uh, the cinnamon challenge when you took, like, a, I think it was a spoonful of cinnamon. And you had to put it in your mouth and swallow it before. I never tried it, yo. I never tried it. Leave in the comments. If you tried it, leave in the comments. I want to know what happens. What happens on the cinnamon challenge? Because I think it's like, it's what is it, like so dry that you can't swallow it or is it just disgusting or whatever. I never got any of that crap or whatever. But um, those are like the first ones I remember. It was like the cinnamon challenge. It was the, uh, like you eat, eat three crackers, three saltine crackers in a minute. It was like impossible. Yeah, I tried that one. That shit. <laughs> That shit will dry your damn mouth out. But, um, you know, what happened to challenges? Literally now, this is the challenge. Um, dance somewhere. That's <laughs> not a fucking challenge. That's just something you do. You know what I mean? It's like, are we getting lazy with them? Or is it just like, are you just trying to have different things? Whatever, you remember that? Yo, listen, this is fucked up to laugh about, but it's funny. Yo, when people was over there doing that Drake, the, um, when he had that stupid song, the um, what is it called? Love, Hotline Love. No, not not. It wasn't a Hotline Bling song. 
It was the Kiki Kiki song or whatever the hell. I didn't listen to that shit. But um, he had that song, and um, it came out with that challenge. Everybody was trying to do it for some reason. I, I, I didn't. I, I never. I saw the video. I think I saw the video. There was never a car in that fucking video. <laughs> Or was it? Am I wrong? I don't know why everybody was was doing it. You would um, so you would drive the car or like have the car like you know just rolling without braking, and you open your door while somebody was you know taping you, or you had your phone on the side seat, and you got out and you start and and you start dancing. All right, so of course, you know this this is the reason why you gotta have rules and shit because people are stupid like. <laughs> Of course, people are doing it. You know, some people are probably smart and doing it like a closed area, you know, somewhere easy where you can, you know, control the situation. And then you had these idiots that were going out and doing it on the highway and shit. <laughs> getting, getting smashed. <laughs> the smithereens. <laughs> and they were sitting there doing the freaking Drake Kiki song challenge. And I remember, yo, listen, it's, yo, it's funny. It's funny now, all right? It, it was fucking, I don't know if she lived, I don't know if she lived, I'm just being real, but I remember I saw this white girl, but this white girl got creamed, <laughs> trying to fucking dance, <laughs> yo, listen, people fucking crazy, bro, but that's a challenge, it's a challenge, it's fucking more of a challenge for the car hitting you, <laughs> but yo, listen, everything is a challenge, bro, like, is, is it gonna go forever, like, I, I don't, I don't know if, um, if it's like the trend is just like where it's at now, everything's a challenge. Oh, this this challenge, the the Dougie challenge or whatever it's called. But um, it was just interesting to me. I was look, looking on like you know in, um, social media or whatever, and just seeing different things like that. Like I'm a, I'm a part of a lot of things. One thing that the podcast scene did was open me up to like a lot of different groups and things of that nature. And it's like it's a lot of interesting stuff online, yo. I used to kind of hate on um like TikTok and things like that or whatever, because I guess in all, in all areas of, um, whenever you're, you're in front of a camera, I, you know, before we used to be like, you know, you have your, you know, 15 minutes of fame, 15 minutes of fame can be spread out a lot longer now because everybody's got a camera every five seconds and you have the ability to put it out to the public, you know, whenever you want, you can put whatever you want out to the public. So people's 15 minutes of fame are lasting 15 years and shit now. And their fame isn't really like, you know, you know, it flooded the market. So it's like fame isn't like easily obtained either. So it's, it's like, it's more like a bunch of just, you know, crazy shit that's, that's just out there that people can kind of cipher through. But um, when you're doing all these different things, it's still a lot of very interesting people you see. And I've, I've you know, met a lot of interesting people doing this. And also, like, you know, being on social media more because I really wasn't really, um, I was still on it, but I wasn't, what the hell am I trying to say? I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't doing it. I wasn't saying where I was every five seconds with my location and address and phone number and blood type <laughs> and what I have for breakfast. I wasn't doing that shit like when I was when before I started doing the podcast scene. Like I would go on social media, kind of look up like information. I would go on to like you know check out maybe what you know where somebody was having a party or something like that, where a haunted house was around Halloween. Like those are the different types of things that I was using it for, movie trailers and shit like that. But um, I never, I wasn't really you know diving in it like how other people were diving in it, and, like kind of like you know staying active with people. And, um, you know, telling people about your day and what's going on. Even though, you know, doing this has made me realize, like, it's it's cool to do that shit. Like, you, there's been no other generation that's been able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Where you can just sit home and kind of just, like, um, uh, chron chronicalize your life. You know what I mean? Whether you're a blogger, whether you're this or that. Whether you just wake up every morning and say, hey, this is what I'm doing today. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I got in a car accident. Oh, pray for me. You know, you got so many different things that you can interact with people. And I think that's one of the great things about social media. But, you know, I was hating because it was like more people like taking advantage of it. You know what I mean? Like, and I've talked about this in the previous episode, but people coming on and, you know, just like, you know, just especially like, you know, girls just coming on, you know, beautiful women coming on, just sex appeal, just like trying to get you to click on their shit because they wearing a bikini and, 
you know, stuff like that or whatever. But, you know, my, I've kind of changed my, you know, thought behind it because there is a lot of very interesting. You know what I can watch forever, bro? Like, this is some crazy shit. I can watch forever. I'll be sitting in my truck or just sitting home sometimes or whatever. And you just be scrolling your phone. You know when you scroll on your phone. Like, you want a journey. You want, like, a little journey. Because you don't know what you're going to see. You don't even know if you're looking for anything. You're literally just looking. Because it's just like, you know something's going to be there. You know, nine times out of ten, you know, there's not too many times where you're scrolling through your phone and you're just like, oh, there's nothing going on. There's always some shit that you can look up, you know, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, whatever. But um, restoration videos, I don't know what it is about them shits, but, you know, restoration videos, they'll be like, um, like, say somebody found um, a knife, like a really old knife, you know, buried in their backyard for 600 centuries or some shit. <laughs> And then they'll they'll dig it up and they'll find it or whatever, or somebody will find it and bring it to the person who does the restoration, and they'll completely, you know, remake this knife into like you know mint condition. And I've been watching that shit. I've been hooked on those, yo. I've been watching. I I, I know you guys. I'm not the only one. Like you got the guys who are like welders and things like that or whatever, and they'll get on there and you know melt the rust away and clean it up and resharpen it. I mean, I've seen some amazing videos. People are freaking talented, yo. Just to just to sit here and um, I saw this I saw this video today where listen, okay, let's get a little out of hand, all right? Let's let's let's, let's calm down. Like this guy, this guy, <laughs> this guy had another guy. Okay, and they were standing in front of each other, all right? So the dude standing here, black guy um, um, versus black guy, and they're standing here, and, you know, by the side of them, in front of them, they had a canvas. It was a black canvas. So I'm sitting there like, all right, what the hell is this guy about to do? So this guy just sit there and takes the dude head, hold the dude head, and starts dipping it down, and he got paint on his head. So he presses his head against the freaking, you know, board or whatever. And then he takes the head, presses it against the board again, presses it over. Then he took some of his dreads and put it in the paint and smeared it on the board a little bit. And he did that like maybe five times. Just pressed him and pressed his head against the wall or whatever. And all of a sudden he fucking turns the picture upside down like like like, like magic. <laughs> and, it's, and it's a perfect painting of the guy. <laughs> what, the, what did you do? All right, what, what job did you quit? To realize that you could do that. <laughs> I would never, I would never know I had that talent. Like, how did you discover that talent was like, you know, in your arsenal? <laughs> like, yo, one day you had to wake up and say, oh shit, I can draw people without drawing. I could just tap their head on the paper. Listen, I'm going to feel real stupid if I find out that that's some, you know, camera trick magic or something like that or whatever. Because, yo, this shit's amazing. Like, how the fuck do you do it? How do you even know you can do that? You know what I mean? He literally tapped this guy's face in some paint five times and then turned it around. It was, it was a picture. It was, it was magnificent. It was exactly him. It wasn't like nothing else. And I was thinking, like, the other arts, artists and stuff like that where they have, like, you know, the spray paint. And, you know, you have the guys, and he'll just, and then put a little circle on it, and then do other things, and just splat. You know, it's, it's crazy, bro. Like, and, but it's talent. It's, it's incredible. You know what I mean? You know, I've always wondered, like, how the hell do you find out you can do that? Like, <laughs> what happened? Like, did you just, like, kind of get to the end of the rope, and you were like, well, i got to do something. Like, <laughs> find me paint. Like, <laughs> this shit is crazy. But yo, nonetheless, it's it's talent, bro. Like, you know, and um I give it up to the people online, man. But in restoration videos, they be catching me, bro. Like, you know, and they be doing swords and um I remember this one they had uh found like a old, you know, y'all remember, um well the guys might remember the Tonka trucks. Remember the yellow Tonka trucks, the metal ones, the toy ones? I know I had one when I was a kid. And um I used to put my wrestlers in there and you know, um Batman and Spider Man fucking fight the bad guys in there. But um, this guy had found one like from the seventies or something, and um, he restored it. I mean, amazing. I mean, from the wheels. I think it was like a parts he had to kind of order or whatever to get like you know the perfect you know wheels. Some stuff was like too damaged. But it was amazing, bro. It was brand new. Spray painted and did everything. And it's like I wonder how much you make from something like that. I never like try to look it up or whatever, but. That's a hell of a hobby, man. That's a hell of a thing. You know how to fix something or whatever. You know, you hear a lot of people talking about, like, you know, men, like real men. 
uh, you know, things they used to do back in the day. You know, I <laughs> I don't want to make fun of nobody and shit, but it's like um, when I worked at Home Depot for a little while, I didn't work there um, that long. It was like a year maybe. But, um, you know, guys used to come in, and it was always older guys. And I would always make, make, make fun of them because they'd want to come in and, like, ask a question like, oh, do you have a piece to this door that I, you know, that broke or whatever? And I'm looking at it like, like I, I think one guy was like one of the, the 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 pieces on the floor. It was like the strip or whatever. And I think a piece of the strip came off. Like I don't know. If, I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's like the uh, the 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 metal the metal rod part. And I think it was like a rubber lining on it. So when you close your door, and he was asking for like the piece of the the piece of the piece. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, just fucking buy a new one. Like, <laughs> like why are you trying to fix? Why are you trying to fix it? Just, you know, go get another one. Like, you know, just buy the whole thing or whatever. But um, I always used to notice that, yo, it was always, like, older guys who would come in there, and instead of buying, like, a new light bulb, they'll try to buy the piece of the light bulb that broke. Like, bro, just buy a fucking light. Like, but I understand, you know, at the same time, you know, people used to actually fix stuff, man. People used to use their hands and, you know, elbow grease and work hard. You know, it actually fixed stuff back in the day. You know, we have the generation where it's just like our convenience is like crippling us. And it's like, yo, something breaks up. Amazon, you put your fucking finger up and they're there in your house in two hours. You know, so it's really crazy. But it, I used to make fun of them, bro. Because it's like, it's like, damn, like, you know, you have to sit there and, and you know you can just get a new one. right? It's probably, it's probably cheaper. You know, take your TV, the old ancient ass TV that sits on the floor with the freaking, you know, wood all around it and take that to go get it fixed somewhere like listen if my fucking tv breaks i'm not getting it fixed i'm just gonna buy a new one like, <laughs> i don't even know who i don't even know who fixes tvs <laughs> but um it's just a different world man but when you see those guys in those restoration videos and you see that they sit there and, and um completely just you know restore those items and artifacts and shit like that that they find I mean, it's it's magnificent, bro. It's magnificent just to see that kind of like you know skill. That's like I don't even know how you learn it. You know what I mean? Like you got to get. You, there's some things you can get good at in life, and you track practice, and you try. Like you know, you do real good. But there's some things where it's like people just got that skill. They got that talent. You know what I mean? And um, it's interesting to me. But uh, yeah, man, it's one of those things. Like I said, like it's not. It's a lot going on right now, so I do understand that there's going to be, you know, some episodes of the show where, you know, I might not have, you know, as many guests and stuff that I want, but at the same time, I'm not scared to get on here and talk some shit or talk about, like, just some things, and, you know, I feel like it's a lot of politics going on, like, that's more news that you hear than, than, than anything, it's just, like, you're always hearing about Joe Biden this, and, you know, you're still hearing about Trump, you know, the Trump thing with the impeachment I don't know. I, th I think I talked about this before, but I don't, yo, listen, how many, yo, what is impeachment, bro? I, I, I don't know anymore. I, th I think I looked it up, and I still don't know. Like, <laughs> I mean, this motherfucker been been impeached twice, and nothing's really happened. Like, you know, it's been the same thing, you know, um, both times, really. He's not even president anymore, and he's being impeached. I know people are saying that they're trying to do it because they don't want him to come back and try to run after Joe Biden's four-year four year term. But, I mean. How many times are you gonna do this shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, I get, I get, I get the resistance that you know people want to get his ass out of there. Like, you know, for the people who are going crazy, and if I haven't spoken this yet, I know I've talked about Trump in the past, and I'm not going a lot through it because I don't care anymore. I really don't. You know, cut the cut the checks. All right, that's, that's what I fucking care about. Not all, but I understand. There's got to be a lot of stuff. But right now, that's all I care about. Just be honest. But um. All the people that are over there, you know, Trump, 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 Trump. Listen, you got your reasons, I guess. You know, you know something that, you know, we don't know, I guess. Um, I don't think Biden is fucking perfect either. Um, I don't know. I don't know any of them. I think they're all just, you know, you know, old white dudes that is, uh, you know, on their way out the door that we keep giving them fucking authority. I don't know why. But, um, you know, Trump definitely was not a good president. If you can sit here and say he was, I mean, you, you, your, your eyes are closed at least halfway because he was, he was not a good leader, bro. He was not a good leader. I don't give a fuck if he did everything perfect, 
business wise. Oh, he set us up for this and blah blah blah. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It's like here, let me give you a good analogy. Like let's just say Walmart is kind of a good analogy. But um, I don't want to, you know, knock Walmart or whatever. But let's just say you have a store, like a business. And, and I'm not even saying Trump is like this. I'm just saying, like, if you're seeing him like this. But uh, let's say you have a store or a business. And it's basically like, that business is great. It has everything that you want. It has everything that you need. It's at decent prices. It's this and that. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing. Whenever you need something, it's in stock. It's available. Like, you know, it's on whatever. But everybody that works there is a jerk. You know, you never really get help the way you want to get helped. They try to treat you shitty. They say nasty things. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get my point. Like, it's like, even though there were good things around it, the product wasn't good, yo. And I don't give a fuck what anybody says. You can argue to death. Trump wasn't, he wasn't good at being a leader, bro. He wasn't good at being an example. He might have been good in his policies, you know, if that's what you're fighting for. But he was, he said racist shit all the time. He was very, you know, he didn't think before he spoke. He was very provoking. As a as a as a person who's looked at as a leader of a nation, like come the fuck on, brother. You gotta you gotta at least be a little bit realistic to yourself. If you can easily just sweep that under the rug and then not understand why other people can't, then you might want to look at yourself a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I know there's literally people that rally around Trump, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, and, and you you already you already know if you're a person with like you know some education, like. There's definitely like a stigma between, you know, racism and with him. And it's not because people made the shit up. You know, he says racist shit all the time, yo. And there's a lot of people who follow him who very openly are fucking racist. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like when you have that around you and you can still kind of like, you know, rally and, you know, think that you're not going to get questioned upon it. Like, I don't know. But that's why I said it's just it's so much silliness to me that I don't even fucking like I said, I don't, cut the check. Cut the check. You ain't cutting the check. All right. Whatever. You know, we got to wear masks and shit. All right. Whatever. Like, you know, I'm not I'm not fighting it. Like, what, what are you going to fight? What's what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not wearing my mask. Oh, okay. Then you're not going to the store. You know, what, what the fuck is the purpose? You know, I hear a lot of different things. If this is some new shit where we're always just wearing masks, I mean, that sucks. Like, you know what I mean? But... I don't know what else to say or do about it. How do you, how do you arrange people to protest not wearing a mask? You know what I mean? Like, if there is some shit going on, you know what I mean? And people are actively dying, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's one person or fucking 400 people, people are actively dying. And you may prevent it by just putting a mask on and just making sure you ain't breathing around people and being all up in people's face. How are you going to fight that shit, bro? Like, you know, regardless of whatever people want to say, oh, it's, it's a cover-up or whatever. I don't know, man. It's interesting to think about, but I'm tired of thinking about it. So that's why I'm trying to think about other shit. I'm trying to see what people are doing, you know, around it. I'm trying to see the challenge. Maybe that's why there's so many challenges. I mean, people are just bored. The bored challenge. <laughs> Make that shit next. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's just interesting times, man. Yo, think about it. Think about like this, too. Like, our kids are going to, you know, growing up. Like, I got, you know, my baby Jordan. You know, I got my baby. I got two 10-year-olds in the house now. And it's like, they're going to wake up and uh, remember this. Hopefully remember this. You know what I mean? And not, you know, um, live this. Because um, I'm hoping that we get to a state, to a to a safe, you know, place where we can kind of be looking back on this. Like, damn, remember we had to wear a mask in Walmart every fucking day. I was looking around the other day when I was out. I had to go to the store, and um, I'm just looking around, and it's it it is normal now. It's normal. I don't know if you guys, you know, remember what it was like looking around and seeing all the people. Like, what the hell is going on? It's like you know, um, biohazard life. Like you know, an alien came or something shit. But it's it's normal now. You see people, and I remember I'm still kind of I'm still kind of like you know weird with it. I'm like, I'm like damn, it's so stupid, it's so annoying. You gotta, you know, do this everywhere. I understand why you have to do it or whatever, but it's still like, damn, I wish it was just normal again. Like I don't want to fucking feel like I'm, you know, um, in danger every time I go out. But people have like you know the little design masks, and people are making the best of it. You know, got the master master outfits and shit. 
And I mean, yo, everybody's just doing what they, you know, what they can, bro. Like, I don't, I don't really understand the, 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 the point behind telling people like, oh, well, you know, it's a, it's an agenda and this and that or whatever. Even if it is, I don't fucking know if it is or if it isn't. But I'm saying what I do know is that if people ask me to wear a mask, I mean, that's just one thing that we're obviously going through something. It's definitely something. The whole fucking world's going through it. So if wearing a mask helps. Wear the fucking mask, bro. You know, but uh, yeah, that's, it seems like that's like all you really have to think about nowadays. I was thinking about, you know, I want to do a show about what are people doing since they can't do like things they used to do. You know what I mean? Like, what are people doing, the ones who used to travel everywhere, you know, and people just used to travel all the time? What are they doing now? What, what have they kind of, you know, put in, in place of their travel life? You know, what are people doing that used to just, you know, go to the bar and the movies and stuff like that every week or whatever, date nights for couples. Like, I want to do a show talking about all that stuff or whatever. I kind of want to have a couple on and kind of just, like, speak to them about, like, you know, different maybe things that they do that are interested. Um, you know, people who have different ideas to kind of, you know, you know, not feel like they're trapped. You know what I'm saying? It's very easy to feel like you're trapped now because there are things that are open, especially in Georgia. Um, there are things that are open and there are things that you can do and stuff like that or whatever, but it's still like awkward. You know, we went, we, we, me and IT Tip, we, we've done some shit. Like, you know, judge, judge us all you want. Like we went bowling, we went skating. We've done a couple of different things. I haven't been to the movies in a long time, but I am happy that they're all coming out on, um, you know, the streaming services or most of them, at least the ones that I want to see like that Congress is, um, Godzilla. Listen, bro, take my check, take my check. I'm watching that shit. But I'm watching it at home. You know, I got a nice setup here. But um, I understand people who was like, yo, I want to go to the movies to see that. You know what I mean? Like, just imagine if Avengers was coming out and um, going through all this shit or whatever. Or Batman, um, The Dark Knight came out and all this stuff was going on or whatever. And you got like a little ass 24-inch TV because you don't really watch TV at home. But you really want to watch your movie. I'm going to the movies, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it's available. But um, I do understand that there are things that people... Wow, that was crazy. Sorry about that. That was my speaker. I got a big ass speaker over here. Like this is my um my my setup over there, my studio. I have um you know behind the curtain I got a gym. I got a whole gym. I got a boxing area. I got a you know gym over here on the side. Um, I got a lot of stuff in the studio. Uh, one day I'll, I'll do like a reveal and show you guys like the whole Beeline Studio and stuff like that or whatever. You know we used to have the banners the banners hanging up over here now. But I'm, I'm, it's still a work in progress, you know, believe it or not. You know, I'm, I'm hoping by the 100th, by the, uh, well, 100th episode or the, the first year that we're on, like a full year, I hope I can give you, like, a full example of the studio. I want to get all the walls. We're going to have, like, different, like, posters and stuff like that on them. I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm still working on it. There's a lot of things. Like, the show is still new, you know what I mean? We've been on for a little while now, but the show is still new. It's still a lot of things that I'm trying to accomplish, you know, in between, you know, work and you know, family life, or whatever, but, um, it's a lot of fun, it's still a lot of fun, um, I love getting on here and talking, even just, like, stuff like this, where we just come on here and talk about random stuff, but, yo, that's why I want you guys to leave comments, you know what I'm saying, like, you guys leave comments and everything, I can sit there and find different things and answer your questions, or whatever, or talk about some things that maybe you guys want to talk about, or if you want to hear me talking about some things, like, that's going to be more things that I'm going to definitely be doing in the future, especially in this season right here, because I want to hear what you guys want to hear, you know, and then um, I want to talk about it. I want to answer questions the way I want to answer them and things like that. You know, a lot of people are doing really, really successful podcasts and stuff like that. And I respect the hell out of them because it's a lot of work and it's a journey. And uh, if you're interesting, you know what I'm saying, you're going to stay on for a little while. But if you're boring, your ass going to be floating <laughs> like it. <laughs> But, yo, listen, I ain't going to be holding it up too long. This is a shorter episode of The Beeline. You know, welcome back, yo. Thank you guys so much for, um, you know, still following and still hanging in there with us. We're still growing. And uh, we're going to have some guests on. I'm definitely going to have an interview tomorrow night with um, another podcaster. We're going to talk about a lot of interesting stuff. But, uh, listen, Thursday night we'll be back on with The Beeline Entertainment. And um, that's going to be the... Uh, um, more guests. The Beeline Entertainment, you know, I'm trying to find more um, artists and stuff like that. Don't want to find out. I got a couple of people I still got to contact. I kind of, your boy's been slacking a little bit. I, I need to kind of be um, more active with um, talking to people because people are definitely coming to me, but I haven't been um, as active. It's been kind of, like I said, it's a new year. It's been a lot of shit going on. Job is crazy. But um, listen, 
We still here and we going after it. So listen, until next time, your boy Brian B telling you to stay true, stay positive, pay attention. And I love you. I love you and thank you for all the support, guys. Um, we'll be back next week. We'll be back on Thursday. Make sure you check us out on the entertainment show. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification so you get notifications when I put out new stuff. I am getting back to the shorts. I am getting back to the cuts. We're going to have a lot more cuts from all episodes, previous episodes of the show that I'm going to start flooding timelines with. There's a lot of things coming, a lot of things changing. We're going to have a new introduction to the Beeline show um, soon. So, like I said... Please stick with it. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Make sure you guys are spreading the love. If you're feeling me, if you're feeling me, you know what I'm saying? If you're not, wait for it. If you is, spread it. Spread it, man. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Yo, stay true. Stay positive. Pay attention. Your boy, Brian B. will holler.